Hey everybody, it's Tyler with Gaia Force Gaming, and I have the weekly metabyte for last Monday. Uh, at the time of recording, that would have been May 8th, uh, and it was a BT12 event. Uh, we're knocking out these BT12 events. We had a little bit of a lower turnout than usual at 18 players, um, but a super interesting uh, top four. Uh, it was a good time. It was a, a lot of fun. Um, I think a lot of players are practicing for the regionals, and they might have some spice they want to keep secret. So, anyway, let's talk about these top lists. Uh, so, fourth place, we have Sergi Tessero. You guys know him by now. I feel like every week I talk about his uh, deck list in one, one capacity or another. So, he was playing Bealsmon X, and we have the uh, four Yaman for his eggs. We have the four Impmon X, one of the BT2 Impmons, four of the EX2 Impmons, and four of the starter deck Impmons. Um, of course, pretty pretty typical. Definitely run the 12. Some people like to run one or two of uh, just another flex Impmon for more rookies. Uh, we have three Wizardmon X antibodies uh, and four Wizardmon, along with two Witchmon. So we have seen in the past uh, him run four, four, and one. So he's, he's lowering the Wizardmon X and uh, upping the Witchmon count for this this week. Um, still, still, I mean, solid spread. I think 9 in this deck with all the mill is a pretty decent amount of level 4s. Uh, for his level 5s, we run 2 of the BT10 Balmon, a Balmon X Antibody, and 3 of that Starter Deck Balmon. So he did switch the ratios between the BT10 and the Starter Deck Balmon from the last time he played. Uh, we still do have the 3 EX2 Bealsmon, which a lot of people have seemed to settle on that being the number of the 3 instead of 2. 2 Starter Deck Beals, 2 Beals X, 1 Beals Blast Mode. Uh, still on that 2 7th Full Clusters, a single Miss Memory Boost, 1 X Antibody, 3 Death Slingers, and 4 Rivals Barrage. Still on the uh, 3 and 4, and 3 Iron Mako. So, really strong list. Uh, he just he, he knows this deck really well. He is, performs with it really well, and uh, you know it's 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 good. And Bealsmon X is a contender, and that was uh, fourth place. Tessero, uh, Sergi, Sergey. I'm not sure. Sorry, how you pronounce it? I always call him Tessero. Uh, third place was Kaijin Lee with Metal Guru Mon X, um, and this I mean it looks familiar, guys. It's uh, it should look pretty familiar. Uh, it's not a lot of change from what we've seen. The archetype still works really well. Uh, we have the four Sunamon eggs, uh, the twelve Gabumon that you know. You know you're gonna see uh, a single Lobo, uh, two Gurumon from BT5, four Promo Gurumon, four Gurumon X. We have four Where Gurumon X and four Promo Where Gurumon, three Metal Gurumon X, two of the Metal Gurumon from EX2. Uh, usually we see the one in one Omni, but he did up to two Omnimon X. Just, I think for that finishing potential, it's it's a really strong finisher. It's really strong in the deck. Uh, three of the X antibody options, a single ice wall, two blue memory boosts, two Davis, and three cool boy. So, this is uh, I mean Meta Groom on X, still solid. Um, it is very linear, but it's very consistent. And if it's an archetype you enjoy enjoy it <laughs> so grats to Kajin Kajin man I'm sorry if I ruin these names on you guys uh, second place we have Matt Vang with Black War Greymon X again it's an archetype that we're gonna see stick around it always uh, seems to get a little bit of support and it has tools so we have the four BT5 Koromons uh, four of the new Agumons one BT5 Agumon four Agumon X and four Promo Agumon. We have a single Greymon X, because that's all you can run. Um, four of the new Greymon, three of the old Greymon X, two starter deck Greymon, two of that really strong BT-10 Metal Greymon. Sorry, I was thinking what set it was from. I had to highlight it to remember it was BT-10. Or I even said it wrong. BT-8 Metal Greymon. Um... Three of the Metal Greymon X, uh, three of the Metal Greymon Alterus mode. So, solid level five lineup. Um, I like the toolbox in the level fours. 
We have three of the Black War Grimmon X, two of that old Black War Grimmon, a single Gaiomon, one Omnimon X antibody, one Hades Force, three X antibody options, two Yuya, two Tai, and four Cool Boy. So opting to run, we, we see a lot of decks run the War Grimmon top end from the new set, not a lot of the bottom end, uh, but this one kind of, kind of the opposite. Very interesting. Congrats to Matt Vang on second place. And the winner uh, is uh, Luca. Luca Serrano. Luca, uh, if you guys, I mean, he does well in GFG events, but you guys might know him as the person who won the in person regionals. Uh, he is very young. Uh, I say very young as I am a aged individual, but uh, he's, 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 a, he's a rising star, man. He took this tournament with no BT12 kid uh, cards cuz again he's 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 a kid you guys he doesn't have BT12 yet so he's playing BT12less Bealsmon and he went undefeated he's got the four Pagumon the the 12 Impmon no Impmon X though no Impmon X very important uh, four wizard four witch no wi no wizard X he's got no BT12 what what do you what do you want him to do guys uh, four Valmon, uh, 3x2 Beals, two of the Starter Deck Beals, two Beal Star, a single Death X, two Blast Mode, one Calling, one Mist, four Death Slinger, two Darkness Wave, four Rivals Barrage, and four Iron Mako. Luca, you're my hero. Uh, just crushing it left and right. And uh, I think it's super cool that. So if you guys are. You guys complain about power creep. You guys think that the new set's too powerful. Old decks don't have any chance. I mean, sure, the starter deck's newer too, but this is no BT12 cards, no Bealsmon X, and it went undefeated and performed just fine. So, no excuses, guys. Put in the work, put in the playtesting, and I want to see you at this top four. So, if you guys want to be on this list, link in the description to our Discord. We are in weekly events every Monday at 7. Uh, if you go to Eggman's website where he posts these post-tournaments, uh, he covers a lot of the meta. So please check him out at EggmanEvents.com. Uh, link will be in description as well to uh, this this specific tournament, but also just his website in general. Uh, big shout-outs to Tayfrey. Tayfrey plays Taylor Franco for commentating and streaming this week's event. Uh, like I said before, I will be trying to have a rotating cast of streamers uh next week will be mario with mario's gaming world as long as his internet is back up we had to do some schedule switching because he had some internet problems um and uh later on this month we'll be featuring more streamers so at the time of recording this month i always i'm assuming you're watching this fairly recently as it went up but uh anyway other than that i'm gonna get going i love you guys i hope you guys love yourselves and love each other and i'll see you on the next one bye